in my strength. Uh, wherever that may be. It's on one of my items. I just don't know which one it was because I had to buy a whole heap of new things when we, I think, were up against Mephisto. And now I actually have like surplus money so I can like waste some shit. But I just need to spot whatever the fuck it is. I'm not seeing it yet. That does the extra. Where is my extra strength? Enhanced defense. That one does attack rating, that's not it. Enhanced defense. One of these have got it. Unless. Poison resistance. No, that ain't it either. Maybe it's a shield. Nah. I could get a better shield. I am always looking for like a good offhand weapon. I honestly wouldn't mind like a decent set of like, you know, the amulets and stuff. Even like a better one of these wouldn't be too bad. Just defense. Defense would help. I guess I can tell. Happily lifts for greeting you for it. No, I can. Uh, let's go for an amulet first. That's gonna really cook some money. All right. Let's see what we got. 25 life, light radius, faster cast rate. That's not too bad, considering what I've got. Um, 70 attack rating, 2 plus mana stallion, uh, lightning resist. Lightning resistance would be so good, as long as it doesn't. <laughs> I was gonna say, as long as it doesn't negate what my thing does. Um, I need something better than all resistance, because I need that resistance. My. It is so bad. I'm going to try for some more because it's going to cost me a bit. I'm pretty much happy with like everything else I've got. I don't think it's going to be strong enough to really go up against Baal, but hey, Shadow Disciples and Shadow Proud. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get a good amulet, which is a shame. Let's try for a ring just briefly. Minimum, maximum, all of that is shit. Tell us where I can falls back to sleep. No. You get some sleep, I can. Seriously, I actually have like a okay ring. I've got a couple of okay rings, but if I could get something that was insane, I'm probably not gonna get attack rating, magic damage reduced. That would be great, but really not. You got any better 65. 65 is pretty good, maybe better shoes. I do like Frost Nova. And the Stamina plus 50 doesn't really matter that much. Fire resistant. Actually, hold on. How much is that affecting me? Uh, no, fire resistance. I could take less of that. That's fine. Okay, so let's try for shoes then. I normally know what it is that I want to replace here. It's usually a little bit easier to be like, oh, I'll just find something much better. That's got some insane defense, only because it's enhanced. It doesn't benefit me any other way. The way that it just went into my inventory was just terrible. Pass the run more cold resistant. Zygon Sabbat. I'm pretty sure I used to play with these because the faster run walk was important to me. The cold resistance, though, if I needed cold resistance, that would be great. But I don't really need that. Although I like the fact that mine has like a chance to do Frost Nova. Uh, the enhanced defense is probably what's changing my ability to have defense in the first place, isn't it? Lightning resists. That could actually be kind of useful. Because this was fire resistant. It doesn't really offer me much else, and I would like to keep the dexterity. Like, that one's not too bad. That's immediately, like, it just offers me nothing else. If I was... You know, specking. Well, don't try to sell that shit. If I was specking my person like a normal person would, what would happen is I would just be able to go. Why can't I use that? I would be able to just go and buy whatever the fuck I want, right? That's not how that shit works here. Um, because. Because. Oh, hello. Um, that's a little bit stronger. 65% enhanced defense, so it's a bit more cold resistance. Poison resistant, hello, that could actually be really useful. Um, poison length, reduce. 25% chance of getting magic items, repairs, durability. I don't give a shit about durability thing. But going up against Baal, the poison resistance would be really useful. New run speed. The amount of ARPG I played, speed is king. See, I just don't give a fuck about like moving around too fast, because like most of the time I stand still to fight. 
So, like, it's really just the speed in which I can move around town, right? So, whereas, like, because of how I've started my character, I care a lot about being able to get things that have either enhanced defense, because it's the only possible way I can get something that she can wear that can defend her, like, provide decent armor, or that has, like, some decent resistances, because at the moment, the only thing that's got her good, where is it? It's my skill tree. Thing, is um, she's otherwise negative in all of her skills. If I remove all of her armor, she's negative in her skills. This is all enhanced. So, and I'm still like low to lightning, but I don't need to care about lightning really until we go back around to Mephisto. Like, I do have to care in the desert against all the lightning bugs. I will care then, I'll need it by then. But I'm about to go up against Bal, who does a lot of like poison damage. So that would be really useful to be high resistant on that because then I wouldn't die as much. But um, I don't care too much about cold resistance and stuff because I've got half freeze damage on fucking something. I think it was this? No, it would be my belt, I think. Or it could actually be the boots I was looking at. I don't know where it is. It's on me somewhere. <laughs> I saw it before. I don't know where it is. But yeah, basically I'm looking for things that boost defense and stuff like that because like when I was a kid, like when I was 12 and stuff playing this right, is um, the thing that was important to me back then was the number on defense because a lot of the information underneath that didn't make sense to me when I played for the very first time. So the thing I looked for was items that would be higher in the defense, like that's a 26 versus a 24. So my brain mentality was like the 46 would be really good and I'd be like I don't know what enhanced defense does but let's put that on it and it'll probably like I don't know right obviously now I know but I also know that by the time I played through Nightmare I slightly understood some of the shit that was on here and I looked for things that did additional stuff beyond just enhanced defense and higher defense because I needed it to do more than what it could, especially since my original character started out the same way as this character, which is what I'm doing, right? Needed it, and I couldn't just buy shit off the rack. So, yeah, 25% magic fine, cash money. See, I don't care too much about like picking up the magic stuff. Like, yes, it does give me more money and stuff, but um, I used to go for the, uh, you know the percentage increase of actual money um, dropped that is what I used to do but this is like 50% enhanced damage the only thing this one does is cost, uh, cast frost nova and I'm pretty sure I've got that on I definitely have it on something because I fucking put that on everything I don't know what else that's on there gold you find you mean yeah basically yeah the gold you like pick up around the map and like uh drop from like monsters and stuff what's a welcome in uh is it rats i'm terrible with names i have probably butchered that i'm sorry but yeah like i used to go for things that would allow me to pick up more money because when i was younger my thought process was that it wasn't so much that this gives me money when i sell it it was what i saw getting picked up mattered to me because then I could buy these expensive things but yeah I don't really buy anything from the traders anymore because nothing is like my level like that's required strength is beyond it that's probably a normal thing but I didn't have the enhanced strength I do it's all 70 at the moment so it's not too bad but yeah for anybody that's new in that doesn't know what the fuck I'm doing with this character is I basically um, am playing resurrected for the first time I'm doing a nostalgia playthrough, making her exactly the same as my first original character from Diablo 2. Where did my gold go? Oh, you've got to be shitting me that if you leave it on the ground, it just disappears? What? Okay, that's different. Hold on. Let's just check the old style just in case it's there. No. That sucks. Um, so what it used to be is you used to, used to be able to put it on the ground as long as you didn't exit the game, even if you went into portals, it stayed. That's why I couldn't find the coin out on the ground in the thing. Fucking hell. Alright, well, either way, I got rid of some space. So I was waiting until this was maxed and that was maxed. So, oh yeah, no, gold can be auto pickup. I just have the setting turned off because I like the satisfaction of picking up my own gold. 
Um, there's a few things that I've kept the same way it used to be because like, like, I don't know. You know how like in Diablo 3 and 4 and stuff like that, like you run around and you either have helpers or you pick it up like automatically as you run and stuff. And I personally hated that. Because like, I like having to pick up my own coin like a scrub, you know. So, it's also like the sound effect of it too. It's like, there's some coin thrown on the ground. It's like, I'll, I'll take that, thanks. But yeah, I'm guessing what it was is I, when I went down to that area, it probably despawned. So, which I wasn't expecting, that would explain some things. But yeah, I should have some level of poison resistance now, which is be nice. I got it right enough. Yeah. Now I've got some settings still the same way as classic. That's a classic Diablo. Um, every so often we turn over and have a look at this. It's like that's how I remember playing the game. I've played Diablo 2. Oh, let me in here. I've played the original Diablo 2 like a fuck ton of times, right? Just over the years, a lot of time. But um, I've only just like got into Resurrected. I I basically like got it as a gift and I was like what am I gonna do? Like I I didn't want to play it until I knew what kind of character I wanted to do because um like I could go ahead and I could put a stats in where they're supposed to be and make a half decent character and it just sounded boring. So I'm like I might as well just make her like the original character like when I was a clueless like teenager and stuff and was just like experiencing it all for the first time and it's been great because like she's so fucking challenging it it's just like I generally need like an entire shit I need like basically an entire inventory full of charm to take on like the bosses and I'm only allowing the first tab of stash like I can't hoard more than what I can fit in that first tab because stash used to only be one tab and um so yeah it's like when you see a ooh shiny i can't keep it like the spare boots i could have kept them but i don't have room in my stash and uh at the moment i think i have i think a spare helm armor um, uh, maybe a belt i pretty sure a belt and possibly gloves that i have spare at the moment in my inventory and i don't usually keep like a spare set i do but like, it's it's taking up so much space I need for charms and health right now. So, yeah, it's making it kind of difficult. What is down here? Oh, yeah. I was wondering. I'm like, I'm slowly creeping up the mountain. I'm not, like, intending to. I'm trying to, like, wipe out everybody and get the whole map and stuff. Obviously, like, I miss, like, the occasional, like, one person here or there or whatever. But, like, you know, it happens. At least if I die... It's not as bad for like trying to come back through the mountain because they're already dead. So I made them a safe when I did the um, uh, what are they called? The council going down to like the Durance of Hate with Mephisto and stuff. Is so I was like I cleared that out the week beforehand and I'm like as long as I've cleared out an area and I have like the next waypoint area, I won't go back through the previous area. I won't completely clear it out. I'll just clear my path to grab passages from the waypoint and stuff and clear out that area and um i didn't i decided to be like really cheeky with it and i'm like oh I'll just i don't have to kill these guys i'll just run straight down to next area because that's where the uh portal thing is anywho i died like eight times trying to go through there because like once i died once i didn't have armor and i didn't have spare armor and there was nothing i could do to fix up the situation i just had to keep basically like I had to keep dying and trying to come back and grab my shit, so I ended up being able to like buy uh, another piece of armor, which on itself is its own problem because as I was just saying before, I'm like, when I'm trying to get armor for my character, I can't just go to a trader and buy stuff off the shelf because without all of my armor on, nothing is benefited enough to allow me to wear it. Like my, uh, my base stats are pretty like abysmal. So it makes it difficult to just get like off the rack stuff that's strong. Everything's gotta be fucking enhanced defense. And uh, I ended up coming across some like really good gear. So yeah, it was it was kind of good. I was able to upgrade some of my stuff. Um, obviously, I didn't get all the best gear. 
I got just enough to go down and grab my shit and come back, but that was in itself like fucking difficult. Eliza died so many times too. I'm taking her all the way through hell. So yeah, she costs like 28 grand now to resurrect when she dies, and I accidentally keep giving her my fucking health too. So that keeps happening. So sometimes, sometimes I'm like desperately trying to get health, and I'm she's just burning. like, "Thank you," and I'm like, "Stop stealing my health. I need it." I need it for myself, actually. Can I... Yeah, I could probably fit that in here. Let me pop one of those up. That should allow me to carry the armor back. I think there's a mole. Yeah, there's a mole there. I can't carry both, but I'll be back with that. But yeah, with the um, enhanced, like, I guess magical items and stuff, I guess the items that I am picking up now Not will be town. more likely to be Hello. magical, more likely to be expensive to sell. But that doesn't that doesn't doesn't help me because like to a degree it does allow me to like gamble away towards like good gear again at some point right but um it's still a while before i can do that because i want these two to be full if i can although now that i know that fuck it, it just disappears once you drop it on the ground now that i know that i won't make the mistake of it again because um I think last time when we got close to it, I just went and bought stuff anyway. So I wasn't at the point where it was falling on the ground. Whereas this time we got to a point where it was falling on the ground. I feel really ripped off that my money just like disappears. Cause like old original Diablo 2 was great in the sense that you could just, if you had shit in your inventory and you wanted to keep some stuff and you were going to be like going through like normal or nightmare or hell or whatever all damn day like you're gonna be playing the game for like a few hours and stuff and you had good stuff and you didn't have space that you could just leave it on the ground as long as your game didn't crash and as long as like you didn't like accidentally quit the game or something right you're fine it was always just there and then you could sort out your shit by the end of the uh you know by the end of whatever session you're playing it was great um mind you it used to be quite fun to be like, oh, I've just got like this shit ton of money, I'm just going to sit on the ground. And then when I start dying, I'll start needing it. And then obviously like as you start needing it, because every time you die, the game takes like a percentage of like your money and I think durability and stuff. So um, I'm pretty sure it does still. But uh, yeah, when it takes like larger chunks of money or when you keep dying a lot, like, specifically when I was, like, pretty young, I would make the mistake all the time of not understanding why it was that I was not able to defeat the bosses, right? So I'd be like, oh, I'll just brute force it, like, as you do in most of, like, the older games, is you just keep trying until you get it, because there's probably a trick to it, right? Whereas in, like, Diablo, that's not quite how it worked, is you had to, like, get yourself better gear. But the thing is, if you die a lot of times, you can't afford to buy better gear, so then you have to stop what you're doing with the quest and go and, like, run through, like, some lower areas and try to get yourself some fucking experience so that then you can actually, you know, get money, get gear, sell that gear, and buy yourself better gear. That's kind of how it worked. Look the streamer. Hey, Bubba. How you doing? How's your morning going? What's the time now? Yeah, 30 minutes for rares, uniques, etc. 20 minutes for magic items, gems, runes, 10 minutes for everything else, including gold. Yeah, that makes sense. I kind of feel like that was like that in Diablo 4. Because I, I noticed it more in like Diablo 4 where shit just wouldn't stay on the ground. And I thought it had more to do with going between. Uh, what do you call it? When you go in and out of um, the dungeons and stuff. Um, cause like I'd occasionally accidentally click on like a cellar or something, like go down into a cellar or, yeah, the instances, that's the fucking word, thank you. Um, yeah, whenever I'd go down into those and I'd accidentally click on a door that had already gone down and then it'd be full again with enemies and it would be full again outside and all the shit outside was gone. And yeah, I think at some point I kind of noticed that I only had about 30 seconds, give or take, for like most things. Um... Most of the important things that I was like picking up, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it kind of got frustrating. <laughs> I, I was playing through Diablo 4 and I just kept comparing it to Diablo 2 non-stop. Um, and just like basically giving my hot take on it as I played through and experienced it and stuff, I right? Because I did a, um, 
uh, what do you call it, like a blind playthrough of it where I'd never seen anybody play it and didn't know anything else about it except for the fact it was Diablo. And I just kept comparing it to Diablo 2 and I'm like, if I fucking love Diablo 2 so much, I should just go play fucking Diablo 2. So that's what we're doing now. Um, that's why I'm playing Diablo 2 every Thursday is because, like, I enjoy it more. So that's actually... That's actually pretty fucking decent. Um, it is fast attack. See, I don't really attack with my other one. This only does shit when I've got it on it, and the only thing I want is the attacker rating to undead. Um, to, doing that in Diablo 4 is like making a new game in Diablo 2. Strangely designed it the way that they did. Yeah, Diablo 4. I don't know. I had feelings about Diablo 4, and they weren't. <laughs> They weren't super positive. Um, I bet they're not going to use that. It's, I know it's going to get rid of my shield. It's not doing much, but I want to at least shield myself when I have a second weapon out. So we're keeping to shields. But um, yeah, I don't know. I felt like Diablo 4 seemed as if it was like the continuation of Diablo 2's story progression, logically. But at the same time, it was kind of like... I'm not sure what they were doing. Don't sell that. that there. Um, yeah, it just kind of like felt like they took like a large chunk of like what applied to like World of Warcraft and some other games and then made that and called it Diablo 4. I've expressed this before that I feel like Diablo 2 has a very strong fan base. Either really like Diablo 2 and kind of don't mind the other ones, or you really like the other ones and you can't fucking stand Diablo 2 for whatever reason and that's fine like you don't have to love like all the games and stuff but like I feel like the people that really enjoyed this were kind of a bit let down by Diablo 3 and then we're kind of let down again by Diablo 4 so that's why I'm back playing Diablo 2 mind you I'd happily like run around like this all the time <laughs> but I, I understand the internet would like some better graphics than that and it's kind of interesting seeing all the cinematics and shit too has been really interesting seeing some of those in like the higher graphics because that's how my brain remembers it but it's like I I see this and my brain remembers it looking like this so it's really interesting getting to play like this because I don't have like the internal rendering I also keep, keep accidentally clicking my mouse that's why I keep accidentally summoning her that's supposed to be an evil urn right where's the evil it's usually up and around here somewhere. Alright, that should be all of the map. Just checking there, looks like it. Yep. Alright. Uh, well there was only one of those, uh, what do you call it, the pit things on the way up here. Nice. Are you? I'm alright, Bubba. I'm pretty tired. I, um, I ended up making cupcakes this morning with the mulberry jam that I made. And it was really interesting. It took like a fucking hour to cook them. It was supposed to take 20... To 35 minutes and it took an hour so I was really tired because I wanted to go to bed uh, but I ended up making what seems like self-sourcing jam cupcakes they're really weird they're good just really weird I'll put them on Instagram I'll put them in discord or whatever later so you guys can see them but um, yeah I ended up sending some in with my partner to his work so that um, I don't have to eat them all but it also had icing in the package too and I wasn't expecting that so I ended up throwing some of the mulberry jam into um, the icing and making like a pink icing thing, which was pretty cool. Um, I'm just glad that like people enjoyed it because usually with my cooking, it's 50-50 going to be like absolutely unedible or 50-50 actually pretty good. And I can use like, I can halve my ingredients and cook two things at the same time and one's like amazing and the other one's shit. So from the I same ingredients. So I'm happy that they came out good considering, you know, I took the time to try to make jam for the first time ever from the, the mulberry harvest. So yeah, I'm glad it's not wasted is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I'll make some scones or some shit in like a couple of days and that way I can have the jam on something because it really feels like it needs to be on like something savory and I don't think bread's enough, you know. But yeah, I'm a bit tired from that because like I was up like a lot later waiting for that to 
finished cooking than I was expecting it to be. Plus I also drove out to my cousins and um, I had a funny moment where I, she knew I was going to leave her jam that I made. I asked her if she wanted some and I'm like, cool, I'll just, I'll leave it by your gate. And what I actually ended up doing is I ended up tying it to a gate and sending her a message letting her know that a gate was jammed. <laughs> and I'm like, I know it's like pretty like lame, but I loved it. I'm like, she didn't say anything about what I'd said either. She just like completely ignored the comment, which is like fair. Um, but yeah, she liked it. So that was good. But uh, I don't know. I'm definitely a bit tired. Wouldn't mind like, I don't know. I'll probably still do like all my editing and shit after stream and whatever, but um, I'll definitely try to go to bed early after that and get some rest. Good afternoon. I, I know tomorrow will be like once human, but I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do on once human either. That's actually pretty good and it's a spear. That's uh, I would move it for a spear. Pack rating. Life still in per hit, lightning resistance 11. I could do with lightning resistance, but it's not going to actually help me unless like, I'm summoning my Valkyrie. Um, my only problem with this is again, I lose the shield, but if it's. I'm not going to be attacking with my offhand, right? I primarily use the bow. The offhand one is momentarily to protect myself while I summon my Valkyrie. That's 90% of what I have that for. I could literally just have a shield and no weapon and that'd be fine. The reason why I kept this was it did damage to undead. Most of the undead seem to have like resistance to fire or immune to fire or whatever. So it's been really useful. It's very fast attack speed and you're only normal. Ugh. One day I'll come across something that will actually be like all the boxes. Attack rating, life stolen per hit. Yeah. Nah, fuck it. Nah, fuck it. Let's throw you guys in the bin. If I don't upgrade it soon, I'm just gonna sit here with that stupid thing forever and a day, so it could go. Wait, is this. I had the boots for this just a moment ago. Hold on. I need life fire resistant. Yeah, I had the, the fast walking feats for this before. The, um. How were they? Like the. Sabbath? Yeah, anyway. That was interesting. I got two pieces of one set in the same night. So for a while I le legit thought that the game was not dropping any set pieces because I hadn't seen it for the whole game. We got into, I think, Nightmare before I saw a singular set piece arrive. Um, and of course, like all the set pieces I've seen are like really weak, are like very piddly. So I'm not really impressed with them, but I don't know. I can't do much about that, so it's whatever. Get rid of you two and let's go put another let's go busk in my stashes one page of like uh you know the worst part I've said this before is because like whenever we get my character's name on like fucking her weapons and shit right once she's got her personalized weapons they've got to fit in here once I downgrade from them or upgrade from them <laughs> you know what I mean so eventually this will go in the bin right because that's my spare bow at the moment and my name one will go in here and the problem is that I can't get rid of the named one so they will forever take up space in my inventory that is woefully well shit not putting that in there I want to talk to Kane about that again I just wish I had a bit more fucking space obviously I could but I won't but yeah I wish I could have like a whole page of like health spare because that would actually be pretty useful but it's not how that works here. Oh, well, I mean, it could. It's just I refuse to. You know. Uh, where are we going this way? I reckon that's probably a closed off little section there. Hold up. Yep. Thought so. So, I don't really remember my way through the Ancients Way as well as I do, like, the Crystalline Passage and the Glacial Trail. Like, you know how I found the, um, the waypoints for those, like, so so easily the other week like I remember those I think